Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video I am very excited for. Um, I am staying in this beautiful cottage that you can see behind me now. It is honestly the most idyllic cottage. that We, we actually stayed here twice. Um, we stayed here last year as well and it is just the most beautiful cottage ever. I'll leave the details of it linked down below. It's um, on Airbnb. Of course, just as I start filming, a plane is just passing over the top of us. So we'll just wait for that to go. Now, my plan for today is to just film the ultimate coziest day in a little cottage like this, which is kind of like my dream to live every day like. So I wanted to live one day like my dream everyday life. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head out to a local farm shop. It's about half an hour away and we went to it last year and it's so lovely. So we're going to go to the farm shop. We're going to pick up some ingredients to bake an apple and blackberry crumble. And the apples and blackberries I'm actually going to pick from around here. So there is some apple trees over there, which I'm going to pick my apples from. And I've also seen loads of blackberry bushes around as well. So I'm going to pick my own apples and blackberries and make a crumble and then we're also going to go for a lovely dog walk because when you're staying at this cottage you're on like this big estate and basically we have use of all of the forests behind us we can walk around such beautiful walks and it's just so secluded and idyllic so we're going to go head off for a lovely dog walk and just have a really really cozy day in this beautiful cottage and actually the weather today is lovely i'm just gonna step into the sun it gets a bit bright when i do this but the weather today is actually beautiful and it did say it was going to be like a rainy day so i don't know where this sun has come from but it's that crisp sunny day so it's still a little bit cold but the sun is out and it is just the most perfect autumnal day so anyway i really hope you enjoy spending the day with us at our cozy little cottage Right, we got out of the farm shop and um, definitely need to take out a mortgage for how much it costs to shop in a farm shop. But you know, it's just one special day, so it's fine. I bought this lump of butter because we needed butter for the crumble. And I knew it was a big lump and I couldn't see the price like on the shelf. And I thought, oh, it'd probably be quite expensive, but it was £6.50 
for some butter and Ollie only told me like when we got to the till and it was scanned he was like that was £6.50 <laughs> but I mean it is a big thing of butter it's like obviously from a 500, farm 500 grams 500 grams of butter so I suppose it's double the size of a normal one but yeah I wasn't planning on spending six fifty. I got some porridge oats which are part of the ingredients I'll um, leave the recipe that I'm following in the description box below but yeah I needed some porridge oats which I think are going to go on the top to make it all like crumbly but the only thing we didn't manage to get was some brown sugar so we're going to have to go to a shop and get that in a minute but yeah we pretty much got everything that we needed and some other bits as well also next to the farm shop they have this gorgeous little cafe which uses all of the farm shop food to like cook with um we didn't eat there because we thought we just spent enough in the farm shop um but we did pick up a little takeaway coffee so i've got flat white let's try it oh that's good coffee it's strong you know sometimes the coffees are just too weak aren't they mm. that's a nice strong coffee do you like it yeah <laughs> anyway this Oh, we got a little leaflet so you can see the little farm shop that we went to. It's called Churncoat Farm Shop and Butchery. Yeah, and it was very nice. But yeah, now we're going to head to another shop and then head back. crumble is in the oven and I think it's going to be okay. I better put a little disclaimer out. I am not a baker. I probably bake something once a year. So this is my one thing that I've baked this year. So, um, I mean, don't look at the footage and think that I'm professional because I'm definitely not. I even forgot to peel the apples first and so then had to take them all out and like peel the little bits up. 
uh, because I've left the skins on them. So that was the first mistake. And also there's no scales here. So I kind of just had to like randomly put stuff together and hope that it looks like a crumble and hope that it comes out tasting like a crumble too. So anyway, I think it'll be okay, it'll be fine. Uh, once you've got a little bit of custard on there, it'll be absolutely fine. So that is currently in the oven cooking. It has to go in for 40 minutes. So I think now's the perfect time to just pop out for a little dog walk um, and the sun's just come out. So I think we can catch a little bit in between the rain because the rain did come and it absolutely chucked it down, which was very cozy. So let's go for a dog walk. Oh um, yeah. Going for a walk. Going for walkies. That sound good? Walkies. I'm not even done custard with it. I just thought just to see what it's like. And then we can have it for dessert later or something. You ready? Hi. It smells good. It's kind of really spicy. Mmm. <laughs> Is it bad? No. Does it taste like it should? Yeah. Try a bit. Hmm. Quite nice. There's a lot of crumble. Mmm. That's actually good, isn't it? That is actually a win. Like, it's got the fruit, it's kind of like melted into the crumble. So some of the crumbles like kind of like gooey and then the top of it's crunchy, which I think that's how it's supposed to be, isn't it? It actually tastes really nice. I put a lot of cinnamon so you can taste kind of like spicy. Um, but mm, I'm actually really proud of that. First bake of the year. It's only September, so that's fine. But I've not done like, I've bought some custard to go with it and everything, but because we are going to be heading out for dinner soon, there's this really nice, um, looking italian restaurant about 15 minute drive away um so we've put that for dinner tonight so we're going to be going there for dinner so i'm not going to eat all of this obviously because um i was going to eat my dinner and it is about we're leaving in about an hour and a bit so you know i don't want to eat too much now but i will finish that later and it tastes really good proud of that Right, we're just heading for our meal out to the Italian restaurant and I can't wait for some really nice food and some wine and then come back and hopefully have a nice chill that evening, probably watching Netflix. Ooh, that evening sun. Holly's always in a rush to go.
from the restaurant and we had a lovely meal out in the local Italian restaurant, it was so good. I had prawns to start with, then I had lamb for the main, Ollie had pork and then we had, we shared a tiramisu for dessert, which I know I wasn't supposed to have dessert because it's supposed to be eating the apple crumble, but um, tiramisu is my favourite and I could not have it while we were out, so I had to have it. So I think the crumble, it's definitely going to have to be tomorrow's lunch or something because I'm still very proud that I made it. Anyway, guys, that is the end of today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed spending the day with us. A very cosy day in this beautiful cottage. And like I said, I will leave. Are you having some crumble? Not yet. Oh, oh in a minute. What? Oh, you're going to have some in a minute? Yeah. Oh, good. I need to get eaten up. <laughs> And like I said, I will leave all of the information for this cottage linked in the description box below. It is a bit of a bargain. So yeah, I'll leave it linked down below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.